my name is Lelisa Ruffin, and today I'm going to tell you all about Splunk. Now, Splunk is a security information and event management, or SIEM platform, which produces software that searches, analyzes, and visualizes the machine-generated data gathered from websites, applications, sensors, and devices which make up an IT infrastructure and business. Splunk was founded in 2003 for one purpose, to make sense of machine-generated log data. This San Francisco-based multinational corporation has gained popularity in recent years and, according to Wikipedia, has had over 10,000 customers since early 2016. Splunk makes machine data accessible across an organization by identifying data patterns, providing metrics, diagnosing problems, and supplying intelligence for business operations. Building block configuration requirements of a Splunk Enterprise deployment consists of an Intel x86 64-bit chip architecture, 12 CPU cores at 2 GHz or greater speed per core, 12 GB of RAM, standard 1 GB Ethernet NIC with an optional second NIC for a management network, and a standard 64-bit Linux or Windows distribution. Splunk can index any kind of data, and in particular, any and all IT streaming machine and historical data, such as Windows event logs, web server logs, live application logs, network feeds, metrics, change monitoring, message queues, archive files, and so on. It does it all. The software also focuses on searching files and directories using universal forward Splunk agents, scripts using universal forward or Splunk agents, system logs by network or UDP or TCP, HTTP and HTTPS calls, Windows event logs, WMI, SNMP events, and APIs. Professionals also explain that by utilizing Splunk Enterprise Security, or aka Splunk ES, it enables security teams to use the data obtained to gain organizational-wide visibility, as well as security intelligence, and regardless of deployment model, on-premises, in a public or private cloud, SaaS, or any combination of these, Splunk ES can be used for continuous monitoring, incident response, running a security operations center, or for providing executives a window into business risk. Splunk uses its analytics to pull data and acquire information involving real-time security monitoring, faster security measures, investigations, increased visibility and insights, and advanced threat detection. Security teams also dig it due to its ability to quickly and accurately determine threat activity and security posture. And by using Splunk software, the team can look at tons of terabytes of security point solution data, credentialed user activity data, and bring in contextual data stored in key business systems. Splunk's popularity has grown tremendously within the last few years, and the highly sought-after tech organization is staking its ground by becoming a major heavy hitter in acquisition deals with other well-known tech giants in the industry. Their list of accomplishments include how Splunk debuted Splunk IT Service Intelligence, or ITSI, in September of 2015, which leveraged Splunk data to provide visibility into IT performance. Now, they also partnered with Google in 2016 as Google announced its cloud platform integration with Splunk to expand in the areas of IT ops, security, and compliance. How Splunk introduced their ransomware tool called Splunk Insights in 2017 that assessed and investigated potential threats by ingesting event logs from multiple sources how they also teamed up with Amazon in the same year to produce the Splunk app for AWS, which gives critical operational and security insight into Amazon Web Services accounts, and how Splunk introduced Splunk Industrial Asset Intelligence in 2018, which extracts information from the Industrial Internet of Things data from various resources to notify its users with critical alerts. 
I conclude this brief presentation by stressing to you the importance of how organizations must be aware of the rapid and ever-changing growth that machine data has evolved into over the last decade. This is partially due, in fact, to the growing number of machines in the IT infrastructure, but it's also due to the increased use of IT devices in today's society. That immense amount of machine data can contain copious amounts of information which can drive the efficiency, productivity, and visibility of any organization. However, if not managed in an accurate and organized manner, the probability of hacker activity increases exponentially. But by applying Splunk's unified oversight platform, our security team can work to increase the organization's security infrastructure by protecting its assets, which in turn can also serve as an aid in building stronger collaboration methods among team members and all other organization sectors involved in the process. So in summary, I discussed what Splunk is and went over a little history about the organization. I also mentioned how the software platform makes machine data accessible across an entire organization. I also discussed the basic building block configuration requirements of a Splunk enterprise deployment. And I highlighted the software data search focal points and told you why teams like it so much. I mentioned some major mergers with other tech company giants, and I stressed the importance of Splunk's role as a vital control asset for any organization. This concludes my presentation. I hope you leave feeling better informed, and I thank you for your time.